Hello, hello. Uh, this uh, instructional video is going to show you how to go and bring your video into video physics in order to analyze it and um, be able to look at the kinematics graphs that are associated with that video. So um, first off, I want to show you a little bit about how you do that. So at this point, you should have your projectile video recorded. Um, for me, I end up recording a video from YouTube. So I'll show you how this looks. So this is just from YouTube. Okay, awesome. And that's a video that I am using. So um, with that, I'm gonna then open up video physics. So go and identify video physics. If you need to type it in, you can. Again, video physics. And you'll be able to click on that video physics um, little icon. Once you do that, click on the plus button over in the upper left-hand corner. And since I am choosing a video, I'm gonna select choose existing. And I'm going to see if I can find the video that I was working with, that's this one. Um, I would suggest at this point that once you choose your video, that you actually trim it to just the time when the ball was in the air. So if you look here, I'm going to trim this one. See how she's holding the ball? I don't want that. I want right when she when it leaves her hand. So I'll trim it on that end there. And then I'm going to trim the other end just before the student catches the ball. So we'll go right there. All right, and then I'll click Use. And once I'm in there, it should show me now the video. You'll notice a couple things. Um, these two little, little kind of categories are the ones we're going to be using. Points, which is where you're going to be actually making your points. And then origin and scale, which is where you're going to identify um, where your axes are. And then also, you're going to tell the program and the app what is a known length. So first of all, I'm going to take this little um, axis, and I'm going to bump the axis up to something that I can tell is flat. So if you move it up here, you can see that it's at the bottom of her feet. And because of the bleachers, I can tell that it's pretty flat there, which means that my, my basically I've been able to um, just straighten out my video if I need to. Um, then I'm gonna wanna go and find the known length. So if you look over here, this little guy, that's gonna designate the known length. So for me, I'm gonna have my known length be the student. See if I can drag it down then. There we go. Well, I know that she is five foot six inches. So I want to convert that into meters. So I'm gonna ask Siri. That known length then is going to be one point six seven meters. So I'm just going to enter it like that. So now the, the um, program knows that that's the case. Oh, looks like my trimming didn't work on the front end. So I'm going to go and move my video to where she first first leaves her hand. So right there. Now, this is the time I'm going to start making points. So again, you want to make sure your video is at that location when she's no longer touching the ball. Once you flip over to points, you'll see that the screen changes a little. This little bullseye is what you're going to want to move. You're going to want to move the bullseye to a consistent location each time. So I'm going to make a dot at the, the front of the ball and then in the middle, so the middle front of the ball. And the way you do that is you um, drag it over to the location you want to select, and then you just tap and it will automatically advance you to the next frame. So again, you just wanna be very consistent. Move your little bullseye. Click on it, you wanna be careful as you're doing this, making sure you're selecting the correct location each time. And this is just the repetitive piece here. So middle of ball front, middle of ball front, middle of ball front, Middle ball, middle ball. Very exhilarating video here of me tapping each point. And it's usually helpful if you do it on the back, if you did your recording in a way that you can tell a little bit more about where the object is. So in other words, a, a surface that has a contrast with the object that's 
being launched. And again, front of the ball, middle, front of the ball, middle. And again, you want to stop clicking on those points as soon as you reach the end of your video. So with that then, I have all my points. I am ready to go and move this into graphical analysis to do the actual analysis. So in order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to click on that little rectangle with an arrow, that little share button, and then select that you want to go and export this to graphical analysis. So again, graphical analysis file. And now you're gonna to wanna to click on open in. And you're gonna to wanna to open into graphical analysis. So copy to graphical. And my graphs look like this. So we have a couple things we need to do here. We need to figure out um, a few of our graphs and then do some analysis. So looking back at the actual um, activity and expectations, the first graph you're gonna to wanna to select is the position graph. And remember we use X to represent our horizontal position specifically. So horizontal position. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click over here on the left hand um, side of your screen, click on the vertical axis label and deselect the Y. So you only want this graph up here, the one at the top, to be a horizontal position versus time. Then in the lower portion, you're gonna to wanna to select, so deselect the, the Y velocity, which is the vertical velocity, and you want just horizontal. What you'll notice is that this graph seems like it's not, it's kind of zoomed in. We're gonna to wanna to see if we can find a way to unzoom it. Let's see if I can pinch it a little bit so I can see where the scale is. There we go. So now you can see the scale. So you can see where the, the horizontal axis is, where zero velocity, so zero meters per second velocity is. And you can see that that line is relatively horizontal there. And then what you'll ultimately want to do at this point is go through, click on those horizontal velocity values. And I would su suggest you select view statistics and you're gonna see the average or the mean on there. And at this point, I would go and screenshot it. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go through and use your, um, your graphs here to turn them into vertical graphs. So I'm gonna go over here again. Instead of the X, I'm gonna turn it into Y for the vertical position. Nice, pretty curve. And then I'll go over to the um, velocity and get rid of the X velocity and turn it into a Y velocity. So at this point, you're gonna to wanna to start to do some analysis. So a few things that you're gonna to wanna to analyze and specifically focus on would be finding the slope of this graph. So again, it's a vertical velocity graph. And if you go over here to apply curve fit, so click on this little button down in the lower left-hand corner, click on apply curve fit, click on linear. And you'll be able to see that there is a um, slope value down over in this box in the lower right hand corner. So you're gonna use that in order to analyze the motion and explain what happened and how your projectile is going to be um, either consistent or inconsistent with what we'd expect. So again, you're gonna to wanna to screenshot this and then you can use those um, screenshots to analyze and complete the rest of your assignment. Have a lovely day.